Hello guys, Zark101 here, and today, welcome to a rant about War Thunder. So, let's get into it. This title is Why I Hate War Thunder. Now, I don't exactly hate War Thunder. I do hate it somewhat. But I do truly like the game. It's just, there's certain things about the aspect of this game that I do not personally like. And if you have a problem with that, fine, you're a hu good, you're a human being with actual opinions. On the other hand, these are opinions that other people have said before about the game, and these are opinions I agree with completely. And some of them had to contradict War Thunder's sort of business aspect. But, in my opinion, they hinder the game to a point where it's I, it's not fun for me to play. And when a game's not fun for me to play, I don't want to play that game. Willingly, anyway. The first aura of business. Sort of the business idea I just talked about. War Thunder, as we all know, has a glorious tech tree. Well, it's not so glorious. Because if they compress vehicles in any which way, like, they can press it like this, like this, for instance, I don't know. Um, but if they can press vehicles, like, like it is in War Thunder, that leads to the matchmaker putting, I don't know which planes get up to here the most, and what's most annoying. I don't really care, but this system is flawed and I'm sure War Thunder knows this I mean War Thunder probably knows but it's not the pr pr first priority and I get that I get that fine and the players get it too I mean pack everybody knows basically but when it's a constant thing you would think they would at least give it a checkup one maybe I don't know it's War Thunder but in my opinion, this is how it works. The progression system. I'm going to attack that now. The progression system, you get research. You play a game, you get points, you get research. The research is towards a plane. You unlock the plane and get it. But once it gets up to the, this freaking range of Leons and crap, you have to do... An, uh, an extraordinary amount and now that's if you're playing realistic or arcade now most people converge on realistic once they get to jets but if you're like me and is stubborn and just wants to play the game he wants to play and Gaijin's system is trying to force me to play the other BR it's quite frustrating because they'll add a new jet like the F3D I can't play that plane because I have to get all the way to there. And the only way I can get there is to spend money or go unrealistic. And both of them, I don't want to do very much. Now then, this progression system is, in my opinion, it, like, now, a friend told me that it's only for the experienced and the ones that really want to commit. But, if you're doing that, if you're saying that the only people that want to do it is the committed, and some of the players are not, that essentially gives them a stop sign and saying, you can't do this unless you pay $70 for a pack. A pack vehicle. And again, this this is a way Gaijin can make money. Which is fine. They're a business. I get it. But in my in my personal opinion, this basically stops me from wanting to progress. And the only reason why I want to play War Thunder anymore is to get this historical feeling. But 
thanks to its system and its player, well, I'm not going to attack the players, its system, its gameplay, it doesn't really immerse me very well. And it's ruined by an up tier, a down tier, because, again, your Thunder system is flawed. And everybody knows this, and I don't know even know why I'm repeating it. But, this, in my opinion, the system has a paradox. If you don't pay for premium, basically for every tier except tier 2 and rank tier 3, well, tier 1 and tier 2, you will not have fun in this game. You will feel you get nothing from the research. Nothing. Unless you commit your soul and life into this game. And let's say you're like me and you don't want to. Well, basically, Gaijin's like, well, too damn bad. You have to or you can't. Or you're not, or you're gonna be stuck with a P47 the rest of your life, and you're not ever gonna get a saver. To which I say, F you. F, F and you. Alright, that's all I gotta say. And the next point, I have anyway, is the fact that War Thunder has to frustrate you. Because, without premiums, let's be honest, you would get nowhere. At least yep. in the, like, well, even in the tank tre tech tree, I don't know how much the BR is in terms of high tier stuff. I assume it's the same as planes. <coughs> and let's say you don't want to buy a premium, then you're stuck with your King Tiger. Or Tiger, for instance, at that BR, because you can't progress. You're going to progress slowly, but it's going to be hell. Mm -hmm. And basically, players, you get to a point where you're like, I'm fed up with this crap, so you buy, for instance, the Kai 87. And BAM! You're in Japanese jets or something. Most people don't want to do that. But, let's say you do. That's, yep. in my opinion, the way War Thunder makes money. Now, I have a problem with this, not the fact that they make money. I don't have a problem with that. Everybody needs to make money these days. But the way that they do it, in my opinion, is another reason why I don't want to be here. I don't know about you, XR, but that's, like... Well, quite frankly, it's like, yeah, War Thunder needs to make money, but there's a certain extent which you also have to please your fans with. And well, yes, being and a free-to-play game, and that's another Gaijin thing. has to account for the people who may not have the money to spend. And that's another and basically, thing. Basically, they're giving them the finger and sticking up right, sticking it right up their asses, and saying, again, "Give us money." And again, or no, don't no, I'm gonna elaborate on the point you just said previous. The fact that, not the fact that other people may not have a lot of money. It's the fact that some players. Wait, what was the other point? Uh, that they they're sticking their middle finger up your butts and saying. If you don't have money, don't play at all? Maybe? Well, no, no, no. I, okay, I remember. It's the fact that War Thunder has the balance between fun and wanting money. Oh, fun and wanting money. And this, money, it, money, my money. friends, is why I hate War Thunder, probably especially. Now, guys, let's be honest. War Thunder has no balance between this. They're clearly leaning towards the money side, but they're not as selfish as some other companies out there. But my point is, if you're gonna purposely make your game unfun without money, and in my opinion, this is a true statement to War Thunder, it's not pay to win, it's pay to progress. Yeah, actually, that's that. That's and it. And even if you don't wanna, like, let's say, buy stuff, you have the base. Like, me and XR like Air Arcade. We don't really like realist Air Realist. Yep. I do it sometimes. He doesn't do it at all. But I only do it to get research. But at the higher tier planes and mostly tanks, you're like. Gaijin system sort of nudges you towards that realistic BR or mode 
and me and XR don't want to do it. Mm-hmm. But the game sort of forces you. So it's either it forces you to give money or forces you to play a mode that you don't, we don't want to play. Mm -hmm. And then you ask yourself, why am I even playing this game then? Yep. Which comes to my last sort of statement. I'm not going to be here forever, Billy Bob Joe and such other people. I'm going to oh, leave that, eventually. That's a lot of hurt for Billy Bob Joe. I'm going to leave eventually. And it's probably going to be War Thunder episode 100. But that's going to come, and I'm going to leave then. Ah, uh, War Thunder episode 100 will become the doomed day. No, I have no idea when this day comes out. It it, it sort of just matters how frequent I upload War Thunder. <laughs> now, me and XR have been debating about this for months uh, with a friend, let's say. <laughs> and that friend is true, true to his heart about this game. Mm -hmm. And really, in our opinion, I'm not going to lie to you, friend, just now. I know pr probably you're watching, and I... Me and I don't him, think he will. Me and him... Th like, of course... You defend War Thunder. Your opinion is essentially sort of biased. It's on the side of War Thunder as an amazing game. Because you love that game. And that's fine. You can love a game. And but... I know what you're going to say. And that we love Team Fortress 2. Yes. And I will admit. Actually. We, actually everyone that's, has that, actually, biases. That's, actually that's a, that's a totally other. To that's a totally other video for another day. Which I actually didn't make. But. He is true. You'll compare it to. One of our favorite games, Team Fortress 2. But that's another debate for another day. So you can hold your horses there. High horses there. Horses, high horses. Horses are horses. <laughs> horses ahoy. Horses so guys, ahoy. this has been my rant about War Thunder. To recap... Yes. And I've tagged long. War Thunder has, in my opinion, a cramped tech tree, which leads to an unfair matchmaking, down tiers and up tiers, which everybody knows that by now. The fact that its progression system is basically pay to progress. And the fact that they don't have... Their fun versus money is not balanced. And it should be. And it's money, honestly money, money. Har it's hard. It's hard. To do that, to be honest. So, anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, XR, for being here. Mm -hmm. And I will see all of you next time. Bye bye. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night.